Good morning and happy Monday, Q family. This week's QA principle is number eight, give others the benefit of the doubt. This goes hand in hand with number 35, don't assume, get the facts. I know this can be challenging at times, but giving others the benefit of the doubt can truly make everything in the end much easier. So here are some of our Q family members to tell us what they think about this week's QA principle. This QA principle means to me that we should always assume that people are honest and that they have good intentions, even when there is no any concrete evidence to support that assumption. This QA principle can be applied to both our professional and personal life as it helps to create a positive and trusting relationship. There is a famous quote from Taylor Swift that states that, assume the best in people and let them prove you wrong. Giving others the benefit of doubt is a valuable interpersonal principle that can lead to better relationships and improved communication. It also involves assuming the best intention when faced with ambiguous or unclear situation rather than jumping to a negative conclusion. Remember that giving others the benefit of doubt is not a sign of weakness but rather an expression of empathy and understanding. It can also lead to more improved conflict resolution and a more positive overall social environment. This phrase is used when you are unsure if something is to be true or not. If the benefit of the doubt means that the actions of a person are sincere and will intend it until proven otherwise. We give the benefit of the doubt when we don't want to think badly of him or her in advance and we decide to give him a margin of confidence. Its meaning is nothing like uh, if you are one of the person who is going in front of the other person and then the person is acting like he is like positivity and either he can say truth but when you are not in front of them either he can say the negativity and he can lie as well right so that's the meaning of the benefit of the doubt. This QA principle tells me to trust other people until we can prove otherwise. Sometimes we tend to believe or know people depending on our feelings that we have at the moment, our friendship, or on other people's actions. So we should separate first our feelings and then judge a person or a situation by getting the facts. Also, we should try to put ourselves on other people's shoes and then think why someone did or didn't do something. Okay, number eight, give others the benefit of the doubt and have a cumazing week. Mm -hmm.